Diary of a Black Mom. It's a space where women can come together to feel safe, to listen and be heard when it comes to our journey in motherhood. With Christ-based principles, I aim to uplift and inspire. Enjoy this podcast, and I hope it blesses you as much as it has blessed me. So when we come into the world, we already know, you know, like all the people, like our parents, their parents, aunts, uncles, etc. But for us, having already been here, when someone new comes into the world, there's an adjustment that needs to be made. So what I'm getting at is, I'm still trying to accept I guess what has happened to me and it's still a process like yeah of course I couldn't imagine life without Sonia the fact that she's here now like she's a part of us but there's still an acceptance when it comes to accepting my body is new my mind has to what does it have to do (laughs) It has to constantly consider another person at all times. Like, I can't even, if I make a plan, a decision, a travel, uh, whatever it is, she's considered. Who's going to watch her? Or can I take her with me? That kind of thing. So... There's a high level of, um, I don't know, mental capacity that you have to have when bringing someone into the world. I wonder, does that change over time? Like, let's say myself and my sister, we are grown children of my mom. Does she have that same level of worry and thought maybe not maybe she's like oh you know she's grown I trust her she's okay and uh, and I'm sure maybe we're always on her mind but it's just at a different capacity right now because we're able to be self-sufficient and self-sustaining but in reference to Sonia I guess it also depends on the level of trust that you have depending on where they are. So, like, I've already vetted the daycare. She's at daycare. I'm cool, right? If she's with my mom, I'm cool. She's with wherever she is. She's always with people that I trust. So, therefore, I can can freely, like, move on my own and do what I need to do without the worry of what's going on with her. It'll be different when she gets to school age. I'll have to, you know, get to know the teacher and the principal and things like that. That's a whole nother uh, level of trust that I have to come to terms with. But for now, you know, and this and I wasn't always there Um, when we were when I was staying home. And then when my mom was watching her before we did daycare, like I felt good about it. And then opening her up to another network of people was daunting, scary, but we're okay. And the same way that I used to work at like a YMCA and did child care and they have to trust us, I too have to trust them. It's all like a, it's just a part of the like contributing to society kind of thing. And, and we're all working and serving each other in that way. My black is real, my black is true, my black is something they all want to, is magic, oh, yeah, oh, is magic, yeah, my black is real, my black is true, my dear diary, and dear Sonia, today is May 14th, 2024. It's a Tuesday and it's 4.15 p.m. It's a rainy day. It's been raining all day. The sun is just now kind of peeking out. 
um, but it's still going to be partly cloudy. I am on my way to pick you up from daycare, and we have about a month left for you to be in the infant class. It's exciting because you're moving forward. Are you ready? We don't know, but what I hear is you're far more advanced than than what it appears to be. So I'm quite excited to see what you have in store and to see how well you gravitate to, I don't know, like... Uh, <laughs> to those around you and and pretty much just just learning so I'm really excited about that I wanted to let you know that you are not alone in this world and even when there comes a time that I will pass on to be with our father in heaven I will still be with you in spirit just as he is and that there will be others that are around you because you will have planted your seeds you know, of wisdom and inspiration and there will be people that gravitate to you and and they will be with you along the way. So I just wanted to let you know that you're awesome, you're amazing and I'm having such a wonderful time with you right now and I can't wait for you to get to a point where you can listen back to these and know that I've been thinking about you for a very long time, even before you were conceived. Um, Something that you may not know I had your name in mind since my college days. So I graduated college in the fall of uh, 2008. It was December 18th, I believe. And um, I stayed an additional semester, so I should have graduated in the spring, but I had to get some more credits. And sometime between, let's say, uh, 2005 and 2008, the earlier part of my college career Um, I found out that my I met my father when I was 23 in 2009 in spring and I found out that he was half Panamanian and how his mom she's like full blooded and she speaks Spanish and we have family over there and things like that so I was so I was very like in awe and like wow I can't believe this and, you know, trying to learn all things Spanish. And even before I knew that, I was going to try to triple major in music, dance, and then Spanish. And then when I didn't do the dance part, I was like, all right, I'm just going to double major or major and then minor in Spanish. And I got all the way up to Spanish 315, and I just didn't have time to do it. So I know a little bit of Spanish, right? Uh, But that's when I was like, ooh. And I had asked my roommate at the time. Her name was Lottie. Larissa Jocelyn Magnon. <laughs> I was like, ooh, there's Sonia. And I was like, ooh, what about a Sonia? Like, is that, can you do that? Like, is that correct? And she was like, yeah, you can. It's just an iteration of Sonia. And that's where your name came. So I just put it in my little back pocket, in my notes, in my phone. And I was like, if I ever have a girl, I'm going to name her Sonia. That sounds really pretty. And I like it. So who cares? And I don't think I ever told anybody but Lottie. And that's it. And I just never really mentioned it again till about somewhere around like it was like 20. It was like 2018. I don't know what year it was. It was very recent. And I'm going to say within the last five years, I had put your name on a story. I don't know why I did, but I was like, you know, one day you'll come to be or something like that. I have to I have to find it. I have to find the picture. Because I was at my grandmother's house just kind of thinking about kids or babies or something. And the next thing you know, here you come. Such a blessing. Um, you are you are a tremendous blessing to all that you come encounter with. Um, sh- strangers, you know, not that we, we indulge in, you know, meeting random people. But, like, when people see us, they are... They are they're inspired they're in awe and and you touch them in such a magnificent way and I hope that when you come to like for real consciousness and understanding who you are and your gift to the world I hope that you never lose sight of the fact that you are you are great just the way that you are you don't have to do anything extra with yourself or be anything extra We'll make sure you look good and that you're amazing, but you don't have to do anything. You're great just the way you are.
So I just wanted to let you know that. I love you. And I'm so grateful to have this special position of being your mother, a steward over your life. You're my responsibility and yes, you're mine, but overall you are, you are loaned to me from God and I have to do my part and make sure that you know everything that you need to know and that you safely return back to him. You just got here. And I wonder, I so wonder if like spirits get to meet each other, like when they're in heaven and when they're being molded and made. And so perhaps you've met my granddad, your great grandfather, because he just was up there and you just got back down here. Perhaps you did. Because within the same, he left in the same year and you were conceived about was it June, July, you know, just a few months later, to be honest, so. I'm sure God was forming you and and you met him, which would be so cool. And then you probably got to get another, I don't know, 100 years or so before you return back, return back to heaven. So yeah, just wanted to let you know, you're special, you're amazing. And I'm so close to getting ready to pick you up and I'm going to give you some lots of hugs and kisses and you're awesome. I'm glad to be your mom.